This is light memory. Incandescent RAM is what it's working towards. Uh, let's ignore all of the rest of the circuitry. All we're using is the two relays and the barrier block. So we have this circuit here. And what happens is when, when the light bulb is already written with a value, high or low, then you can refresh it. You can take the power off of it and then you can push this button and it will automatically uh, determine whether it was on or off previously and it will either keep heating it up if it was on or it will make sure not to heat it up if it was off. And the output here, when you're doing a read or a refresh, will, go, will be either high or low based on whatever it was, whether it was lit or not lit. So this is, uh, the, what I did was I added this little circuit here that goes into that right there. And what happens is, it's pretty simple. If you push this button, then you can write to it. So it's like your write signal on a processor or RAM or something like that. And you can either write low or you can write high, right? So if you put 12 volts into the light bulb, then it turns it on. And if you uh, don't put power into the light bulb, then eventually it'll cool down and it'll turn off, right? You push this button to do the right. That's a momentary contact. And the idea is that it disables refreshing at that time. So you can see that pretty much the entire circuit is cut out of the picture. And all it does is write to the uh, light bulb. Now, um, now, I chose a push button that clearly has, I don't know if you can see it in there, the contacts, but uh, this side is, the left side is normally closed and the right side is normally open, I think, yeah. And if you can see in there, I don't know what this reflection is, okay. You can see that there's definitely some time where neither of them are connected. And I chose that specifically because that gives me the ability to show how long the light retains its value. Okay, so now that's the circuit, and that's all that is. All the rest of that circuit on there, circuitry on there, does nothing. Um, it's just using it for the relays and the um, barrier block. So right now it's switched to off. So if you push the button. And I'm writing right now, so it's writing off, and then I release it, then obviously it's off. So that's low, right? If I turn it on, and do the same thing. Okay, so now I'm writing high, and then I release it, and you see it blinks. That's the time when the two contacts are uh, not making contact together at the same time. Neither of them are making contact. And so now it has written, and now the refresh circuit, again right here, is holding the light high. So, interestingly, it has quite a bit of retention. See, that time it didn't retain it because I let it cool down too much. But uh, So let's rewrite it high, and then we'll let it off slowly. Let's see how fast we can do this, or how long we can... So that's about how long it'll retain the value. Almost half a second. So it's not retaining now. There's some really interesting factors in here that I don't know if I have the time for, but because my SD card fills up quickly. But um, one interesting thing I found about it was you might notice that it gets dim sometimes while switching. Let's see. There, you see how it went 
dim for a second and then it got bright. So the bulb has cooled down so much that if you look at the circuit, it's, uh, uh, here comes the train. <laughs> the bulb has cooled down so much that its resistance is pretty low. Um, and so it's not, this voltage divider here is not producing enough voltage to turn on this relay. Uh, but what happens is because the power is coming through here to turn on the light, it's slowly heating up the bulb again and then eventually the relay kicks in because as the bulb heats up the resistance goes up and as the resistance goes up then the voltage here goes up and then that causes this relay to eventually kick in <laughs> I did not plan that one that one was kind of a cool side effect uh, this other circuitry is to basically cancel each other out so this kind of determines the threshold where one uh, like the instant that this one starts to turn on, then it cuts the resistance out of here. This is for low. Um, so if this was, say, 10 ohms when the light was off and cold, then when you turn this on, you get, you know, about one-fifth of, of, of the uh, voltage down at ground at the bottom side of this relay. And that's enough to turn it on. But once it starts turning on, then it cuts that, voltage divider out completely and now it just powers up the bulb through the bulb through the uh, the relay through the bulb and when you uh, do that then you know then it starts switching faster because the voltage is dropped but then as it gets to there then it shorts itself out to ground and that keeps the voltage uh, it keeps that relay on and shorts out the bulb so that it doesn't heat it up anymore. Uh, and I guess that's all I can say right now. <laughs>